Hi there Hot Toy fans, this is Skidsmo Flap 1313 and this is my 250th video and obviously we are celebrating this by having a look at a Hot Toys figure from the Avengers this is Agent Phil Coulson you are about to see the review of this figure uh, for this 250th uh, video it's uh, been a while coming, uh, five years, five years of this uh, so far coming up to five years more like 250 videos strong and I'm still going, I've still got a lot of stuff to go through there's a lot of figures to come but here we go, you know, let's get on with this review and let's check out this figure as you can see the packaging for this figure is very very different uh, I've never come across something like this uh, obviously we've got the character of Phil Coulson uh, on the packaging, uh, it's got this sort of light blue effect and the character is sort of dotted with these black dots obviously looking at it on camera none of those black dots are uh, coming up but in person you can see those black dots obviously I don't think you're going to be able to see it on the video but you can see very very much likeness to the character and some people actually do get confused as if this is the character or actually the figure itself obviously you've got the Avengers logo there Hot Toys and also the movie masterpiece logo down there and it looks as if there's like a Captain America symbol here or yeah like an A and a shield but there we go so let's have a look at the back the back of the figure is well um, sort of plain but I enjoy the uh, blue clashing with the black and sort of merging in the middle as you can see there obviously at the bottom you have a load of stuff about the figure um, and it's saying his name there and a few bits and bobs from Hot Toys all the licenses obviously warnings and all that sort of stuff on there and you know that's basically that for that so let's have a look at the sides of the box so obviously on the one side you've got this which carries over the picture of uh, Adrian Phil Coulson's uh, shoulder but you've also got the symbol of shield here which I think with every single one you get that sort of symbol of something to do with them so that's quite nice so let's just have a look at the top and the top of the box as you can see which is now flat down says Agent Phil Coulson in this really nice big font so if you see it from this thing you actually know this is Phil Coulson straight away and I like how the agent is in black sort of a bit more um, agenty just to say the, the colour, bit spy sort of thing and you've got Phil Coulson in the white so it really stands out with the white background on this black so let's not waste any more time and actually slide the cover off of this box and it's basically just a slip cover which just slides off like that so let's just have a look on the inside so taking the slip cover off and obviously on the inside we have a, a, a sort of box here with the A symbol on a shield and it's all clear plastic so you can actually see the whole figure Obviously the figure isn't in there because I've taken it out and it, well, we're obviously not going to be reviewing it at all. It's also got spaces in there for you to store all the items from, you know, the stuff that he's got on him, his weapons and alternative hands and extra pegs. As you can see there's also little bags there which are on his hands and there's also the, uh, the bag here for like, I think it's like for moisture. But there we go. So let's actually get a look at this figure in person. And here it is. So this is Agent Phil Coulson in person, in hand, on my desk, ready for reviewing. Now obviously as you can see this figure is plenty full of detail. Just look at the face. That's all you have to do. Look at the face and you know it's him straight away. Obviously he's in his black suit with his tie, a little bit of a wonky tie. Um, he's got a belt white shirt, black trousers, obviously he's a hat, his hands are there and these nice black sort of suede shoes which have a nice shine to them um, I haven't just polished them so there we go, there's the figure pretty cool, so let's have a look at some of the accessories that this figure actually comes with the smallest of his accessories is this little badge which actually actually has a lot of detail on it it actually has the uh, actor's face on it which is cl um, Clark Gregg uh, it's got the Phil Coulson name level 7 shield a barcode and it's just full of really good details that obviously the camera is just trying to pick up very good it's also got this little clip which can be attached to the overall figure and is removable from this little badge so he could hold it if he wanted to which you can just you know peg on like so, to have it, you know, dingling round. So it's a pretty good accessory. As you can see another accessory, well, I say see, 
is this earpiece here, which obviously is used to contact um, certain group uh, group members. Uh, it's got this little white line here. It's very hard to see. The camera really, really is having a hard time zooming in on it um, effectively. But it's just that little circular thing with a little thing coming off it. It's, you know, the speaker, and it sort of pegs into his ear, which we'll go through in a second. So on to the next accessory. Another accessory is this little f uh, cell phone, which is sort of like a smartphone. Got a few apps on there, which you can see. Can't exactly see the detailing, but the camera's doing its best. It's just a little sticker on a little uh, camera model. I mean, phone model. But there we go. Nice little accessory for him to hold or put in his pockets. Pretty cool. Next accessory, I haven't actually taken out the packaging because I don't want to damage what is inside. These are the cards, which if you remember and you can see the blood, you know what happens. Um, and these are just thrown on a table and it's got, obviously got Captain America and this, these are his collectibles which uh, he wanted Captain America to sign, but it's just in the normal packaging and it's you can see that with the blood on the side and it says buy war, war bonds buy war bonds. I don't know if that's supposed to be a pun let me know down below. That's that accessory. His next accessory is a walkie talkie which he uses to contact uh, Nick Fury during certain scenes. Uh, obviously he can hold this, he's got the little aerial here Two little receiver sort of things here, some buttons, the speaking bit, and also a clip, which as you can see, it is, it is, you can put it onto his waist or wherever you want to put it. Meh. He's also got these sunglasses, which you can wear and also hold. Nice black shades, just really bog standard black shades. You know, they give enough room to put on his head. And they just look nice on the overall figure and make him look a bit more special. The next accessory is this sort of leaflet file, which obviously has the shield logo on, classified, security level 7, and R above required? What was it? Or above required, right, okay, so it says security level 7 or above required. Um, oh god. Um, now you can, if you want, open it up. But there's nothing in there, you know, like no pictures or anything like that. But you can have a little look. And it's a pretty good accessory to have. You can get him to hold it, which I will show later on. One of my favourite accessories has to be his one pistol, which I think is amazing. I really, really like this. Um, there's just so much detail and accuracy to a gun. I don't know what gun it is. Uh, if anyone wants to comment down below and give me a shout as to what this is, um, it's just a detailing from like one side to the other. That silver brings out so much, and especially seeing as you can do one feature, which I think is amazing, where if you just hold the top and push it back, you can actually cock it, or like, you know, pull it back, get rid of the... so it shoots, bang, 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 gets rid of the bullets. Not only can you get rid of the bullets, but you can also see the bullets, by getting your nail, as long as you've got nails, and pulling the clip out of the gun. And obviously, whether you'll be able to see that, you can see that little shiny bit there. But whether the camera wants to focus is another thing. But you can see the shine right there. And it's a pretty, it's a pretty good thing just to have that. You can have him holding the mag, or like having one hand sort of like holding the mag and then holding the gun, sort of like reloading it. But that's a pretty good accessory and I quite like the overall quality of this, especially the front with the little hole. I love the co the, the uh, feature of the cock back sort of feature. Uh, obviously you can't see the bullet there but uh, overall pretty satisfied with this gun and it's also a pretty big gun. I was quite surprised. I was thinking it's going to be like a really insignificant size. It's a pretty good handheld gun for Phil to have. So that's that accessory. And the last handheld accessory he has is this. And if you don't remember this, this is what he brings to the battle. Uh, well, not really a battle, as a defence against Loki in the film. Uh, apparently, apparently it was modelled by the Destroyer. You can totally see that, especially when it lights up down here. This this actually has batteries in it, which is pretty good. Uh, as you can see, I've also got the tab still in there and the button there, um, which I will show you in a bit. 
He's got two handles, so you can actually get him to hold it. Um, there's two different hands that which are sort of designed to hold this. They can hold other things, but they're ideal for holding this and you know shooting if you want. Uh, it's got an adjustable sort of uh, mount for your shoulder here. Just not a lot of m movement, but it's something, and it makes the the gun slightly bigger. And also, you've also got the movement of this, which again. Not huge, but just something just to make it a bit more interesting, you know, to have you can move it. But it's not going to do much. You can't exactly look down the sight and actually be like, oh, look, there's Loki's head. Um, so, yeah, but you can pull out this uh, this switch here. And obviously what that does is just stops the batteries from touching. And then push the button, and as you can see, it lights up quite brightly. And you can see that, whoa, <laughs> sort of like a rainbow of colours but all it's doing is it's you can see that it's on my hand it's sort of a bright light and I obviously the plastic in here is orange and it's just lighting up that so if I just cover it you can see how bright that actually is and it's a re and also that here is lighting up as well which is really really nice and that's just activated by this button under here so overall a nice accessory and I really like this other than the hands on him he has a total of five hands so, including the two that are on him, he's got five hands. Obviously, this one is a left hand. Sort of looks as if he's holding a, a, a plate or a file. File. Um, so, you can have him hold that if you want. Um, when you, you know, switch his hands out. And obviously, it just pegs in. But I will show you that a bit later. So, obviously, that's just the one left hand for now. He's also got two... Oh no, sorry. Okay, sorry, I was wrong. He has an extra uh, left hand, which sort of looks like a trigger. And you can also use it as a grasping thing, but it also looks like it's for the gun. These hands are amazing, I have to say. They're tanned to look so much like the, co the colour of the face. They're wrinkled, they're bony, they look, they've got nails, they have everything. It's not cheap detailing, this is what you're paying for. You're paying for detail, and this is exactly what you're getting. All these things, and even the fingers slightly move. They're not meant to move, but you can move them just to sort of adjust. You know, they're normally supposed to just be slight movements, which is perfect for holding the gun or anything like that. But that's that. And then the right hand, you've also got another trigger finger, which actually does look more like a trigger finger, as if it's over the trigger. Um, <clears throat> but it's just the detailing, it's amazing. You could see that the wrinkles there, or the veins more like, sorry. So, I mean, he's not wrinkly, but you know. Um, the, there's just veins here, are amazing, and there's not a lot of stuff that's gone wrong. There's no paint sloppiness. That You know, you are paying for quality here. Quality is a good thing. Good thing. Well said, well said. Um, but yes, there is hands. And on to the last accessory. Let's have a look at it. And obviously the last accessory has to be a stand. You can't have a figure without this perfectly good stand. This is a really nice stand, to be honest. It looks, re <laughs> it looks really posh, to be honest. You've got all these different layers here of uh, height to the stand, and it gives it some depth and all that sort of stuff. You've got a label of actually who it is, so these aren't going to get confusing. You can just not. You don't have to like rip it off and put another sticker on or something like that. Obviously, you've got the logo here, which is a fantastic logo. I really enjoy it. Uh, you know, the circle here looks like the Amer you know Captain America. Obviously, it's trademark Marvel, um, and obviously at the top you've got this thing going up to this thing, which actually supports uh, the character when they sort of stand there. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. So let's just have a look how he looks when he's on the stand. So as you can see, when he's on the stand, obviously the little cradle bits come in just to make sure they're sort of, say, comforting the figure so that it actually stays there pretty well. It's not going to, you know, fall out or anything like that. You know, the figure's there. I've got it so that his feet are touching the thing rather than him, like, being in the air and hanging and swaying because that doesn't help. Um, and he's perfectly still, you know, nothing's wrong with the overall figure when he's standing on here And it's just a great place to have him just like off to an angle on your shelf Just having the figure like that So that's excellent. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go through the figure itself from head to toe And then we'll go on to the accessories. So bear with me and we'll be back in a sec As you can see the face on this figure is just phenomenal um, It's just so 
detail. I, I, I cannot go through this so much, uh, so many more times. The detailing on these figures. You pay for the detail. The detail is the key in any of these figures that you buy. This is an outstanding. I mean, you know, there's plenty of like um, detailing in the eyes. He's got blue eyes, as far as I can see. Um, he's got, you know, wrinkles on his face, wrinkles down his eyes, his nose, his mouth is detailed, his ears are there. His hair is even styled. I mean, come on, hair. Hair is styled. Yeah, look at the hair. Um, it's, ama it's just amazing. Uh, I'm just so surprised how much detail is being put on this figure. Obviously you can see that the articulation on his head is very good. It can do a full 360, but because I've only got one hand, I can't exactly do the full 360 with one hand. Um, now obviously his accessories which can go on here are his glasses and his Bluetooth, which I will put on him right now. So here we are, Special Agent Coulson has arrived. Um, obviously these glasses are sort of sunglasses, you can see the earpiece a lot better now. And it just pe pegs into the side of that one ear. Um, there's like a little circular ball thing which pegs into the side of the ear and it stays in there pretty well as long as you don't, you know, flick around with it and it, then it'll fall off. But the glasses are really good, they fit on his ears really well. Um, you can sort of see through them or maybe that's a reflection, I don't, you know, you can see through them or maybe that could be the lighting. But it definitely makes him Special Agent Coulson and uh, you, can, you can have so, many, so much fun with the, just designing these figures and seeing which look suits you in a way. So let's move on to the torso. This torso has quite a bit of detailing, obviously it's just clothes, but you can add bits and bobs onto this to make it a bit more detailed and colourful. You can see the jacket sort of has little speckles of silver in it, which I've just noticed right now on the camera. It uh, doesn't look as spe uh, silvery in person, but it's coming through as that. Obviously his hands are going down by the side. Uh, there's a pocket there, I will show you what that's for. And another hand down there. Uh, he's got this sort of grey, darkish grey tie with a pattern on it. Uh, his collar is obviously, you know, well executed. Uh, this white shirt which he's wearing. <clears throat> and obviously it goes down to the trousers and the belt. The belt is silver, detailed very well. You can even see the hole there, which is pretty, pretty cool. Buttons even on the jacket. It's detail. Detail is the one word in this whole review that you will hear so much, and it just makes the figure. So let's have a look at what accessories can actually go on this figure, or this part of the figure. Okay, so mostly the only detail that I could put on at the moment is this badge. So the badge can go on that pocket there. It, it, on the instructions it shows that. Obviously instructions do come with these figures, just to show you the articulation and where all these accessories can actually be fitted. So, you know, that adds a bit more colour and you can actually see, sort of, the badge there. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool. So, moving down to the trousers now, we will have a look at them now. So, obviously, the trousers here, they're sort of black. They're coming through sort of dark bluish, but they are black. Um, going down, still got that sparkly silver coming through. The trousers, obviously, they do have the, um, uh, what would you call it, the, the zipper thing. There's even pockets. There are pockets on this figure. Let me uh, move the arm back. Uh, there are pockets. Look, uh, where are they? Where are they? There they are. There's the line. That's a pocket there. Both sides have that pocket, and it's just amazing to see that the figures have pockets! Um, those pockets can actually be used for two things. Let me just put the camera down, and I'll show you on camera what they are. I just like to put them in there just to sort of store them rather than having to put them back into the box. So the first thing is, go oh god, is going to be, not god, sorry, um, is going to be these packs, of, the pack of cards here, obviously it's not coming through that well uh, because it's quite bright but they're here. Um, so, you know, you can do that. So I like to just put them in whichever pocket really and they fit in there pretty well um, and it's basic, well yeah, they are pretty... They're going in there. So you can see they're, they're there. Um, so then, you know, they fit nicely. They don't distract anything from the figure. They sort of bulk the figure out in a way, seeing that he's got full pockets, you know. Could be different accessories and all that sort of stuff. Um, now, the other thing that can go in there, if I can find it, is this. Is the phone. 
Now, obviously, the phone could also be held in his hand, sort of like that. Oh, God. Sort of like that, if you wanted to. Sort of having this, having to hold it, like so. But that's entirely up to you, you know. Oh, it's even got a camera on the back. I didn't notice that. And some buttons on the side, which are all coloured in. So, you know, it adds the, to the detail. Um, this can also go into the pocket. Uh, put it into the left one. So you just put it in there, and it's easily. It's it, they are quite easy to get out. I would just say the best the best trick is just to push um, backwards on it, and it will just come out, and you just grab it when it's coming out. So just move that to where you want it to be. So he's definitely filling up with all these accessories, and we've hardly got any left to be honest. So uh, the final piece or the final part of him is the shoes. Now obviously the shoes are just black, shiny, they have laces on them, there is detail galore on these, you know, they, they've got so much detail, let me just take this off for a second and show you the detail, moving back slightly. You can see, look, th these are shoes, th these are man shoes, I mean look, man shoes, I mean, are they, have they got socks? Has he got socks on? Please tell me he doesn't have socks on, seriously, no he doesn't. No, well they look like socks. <laughs> um, well they actually do look like socks, that's pretty cool. Um, so, you know, um, there's a lot of articulation in these actually. You, you've got a ball joint down here so you can get the full articulation. Obviously, you don't have alternative shoes because you never wore other shoes. Um, and you mostly just see them in this um, outfit during all the films. But you know, you can see all the lacing and all that sort of stuff, the stitching the shininess, everything like that, it's just amazing. You can just see how much the foot is going forward. Um, but yeah, the detail is phenomenal. It's just something that is just so well executed throughout the whole of this, this whole entire figure. So let's just put him back there. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go through the hands and what they can hold. Obviously you've seen the phone, but let's have a look at what those hands can actually do, if you know what I mean, Phil. Yeah, you know what I mean. Good. Okay, let's see what, let's see. Let's go. Okay, so the hands, what can they actually hold? Well, let's take a look at the ones that aren't actually on the figure, to be honest. Let's just focus on the ones that we have spare. So, uh, no, actually, let's not. Let's not. I know what I'm going to do. I will take the hand off of the figure, quite literally. Um... <laughs> As you can see, the hand actually comes off on this little ball thing here. Now, it does have spare ones of these, because uh, apparently, if it breaks, then you can replace it. Fair enough. I'm glad they did that, but there's only two. So, yeah. What are you supposed to do? Ideally, I think it would be nice to have the hand and this just together. So, like, there's no separation. You just have that. So it looks a bit more f fluent, and you can actually have the ball sort of merge into the hand a bit more. So you've still got that articulation there and the rotation, but it's it just it feel it, that would that would probably fit a bit better than you know other sort of stuff. Anyway, this hand I like to use to hold the walkie-talkie, since it actually looks as if he's holding and pushing a button. Well, sort of. I mean, it's the microphone, but he can sort of like hold it up to his face. You can have it so that it's sort of um, is on an angle in his hand, so he actually is up to his face, uh, and it's pretty cool. So you can just ha put that onto his hand, and it just pegs in. Obviously, it's a little bit of the the, the only thing is with the closed, the closed version of uh, these figures is that they they just the clothes do interrupt slightly with the connection between the hand and the overall. Uh, socket which is in there. So you can see he's holding that there and you can also get some nice poses if you just, you know, um, for example, lift the walkie-talkie to his face, have him sort of doing that, and he can sort of talk like that. So that's a pretty good pose. If you really just want him to talk at a walkie-talkie, you can. Um, and he does it pretty good. So let's move on to this hand over here. So let's go. Okay, so his left hand, which I've actually put on, is used mostly for me... Sorry, there's speakers on the other side, so I'm sorry about that. Um, it's mostly just used for a gun hand, 
sort of. I mean, it's. I just use it because it looks like a holy hand. Let me just take it off quickly, and I will show you what I mean. Also, this gives me great pleasure to announce a secret accessory, which I forgot to show you. A watch! These things are a bloody pain to stay on the figure. Um, just keep the hand on. Don't take this off. You, it, you have to like put it on and then put the hand on quickly before the clothes push the watch off and then the hand doesn't want to go on and yeah, it's a big fudge. Um, so grab this gun and you can just place it in his hand and I mean it doesn't look 100% like a gun holding hand but for me that is a gun holding hand at its best. Um, of course, there is another gun holding hand which I will grab now. If I'm going to hold a gun and then grab this uh, this hand, you can then have uh, a, a hand or a finger that's not in the gun thing, but he can shoot it because it's Marvel. Whoa, Marvel. Okay, now peg this in as well. Uh, this is an, another hand. This one looks a lot more like a gun hand. However, th that's the reason why I chose to use that hand as a gun, because this one is for this hand, and obviously I like to keep that hand for the walkie-talkie. Whoops. Uh, for the walkie-talkie. So, let me just find that hand in all of this, which is obvious because it's got a peg on it! Now, obviously when you're doing this, you're going to have to pull these pegs out. Now, there's no, uh, there's no easy way to say this. You can pull on this thing and pull and pull, and pull, and wiggle it, and wiggle it, and it just does not want to come out. Your best option, I'm sorry to say this, is to actually use your mouth, get some teeth around that, and just slightly pull it, and you should be fine. You can't, if you put anything in there, I'm just afraid you're going to, like, you know, hurt, hurt something. You're going to break the, the peg or something like that, and it's just not going to be, not going to be pleasant. So let's just peg this hand back on with the watch. Don't forget the watch. Uh, so, just peg that back on. Like so. So, let me just show you this. So, I've just pegged that back on. But the watch is still here. So, you can sort of have him, if you want, just folding that back slightly. And you can actually see the time there. So that the hand is there. And then you can just go ahead. And obviously, this is a little bit of a pain in the... Uh, b -b 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 oh, there we go. You can slightly see it. So you can see the hand there, grab the gun, place it in his hand. It, it obviously if you can, because obviously I'm doing this with two hands, there we go. No, you don't want to go in, fair enough, I don't blame you. It's the same, or, oh there we go. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, it's not, it's not totally ideal, but it, it does the job, you know, you can have him sort of posed. Like so, you can have him looking off to the side as if he's about to shoot someone. And he looks pretty cool in that action pose as well, I quite like that. So let's have a look at some of the other spare hands actually on the figure. Okay, so obviously I've gone ahead and I've replaced this hand uh, on the side from the gun to this holding sort of position. And the only accessory left, which I can hold, obviously I've shown you the phone, the only accessory you can do is actually have this file actually be held in that hand so you can walk around with it on his side if, if you want if he wants to keep hold of it which evidently he doesn't want to do um, so you can hold on to it you can then if you want put it up to his face <laughs> I did this in 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 case <laughs> so you can actually have him having having a look at sorry there's the speakers again I'm sorry I'm gonna have to sort my uh, stuff out but you can have him action shot of uh, Phil looking at his manual for how this figure actually works because I mean he's as confused as I am because obviously he needs instructions um, but yeah you can have that sort of a pose if you want so let's just have a look at the final pose which I've actually never done before so let's have a look at this okay so the fi final pose I've got him in is on his stand no I'm joking I have got the biggest Ever mother trucking gun ever in his hand. Look at this. What a pose to have this guy in. You can have this thing on full beam and no one's giving a damn. Obviously he's holding it using two hands which I've replaced again. 
they are both the, the gun for the left hand side trigger finger and also the other gun hand for the other finger which looks a bit more better than the other one I've had. So that's your description. Now obviously the detailing of all of this is amazing. You can see the aging on it, the colour and it just goes really well with this overall figure. Uh, I say figure, I, it's a collectible, it's really a collectible to be honest, and you can't be messing around with these for much long. You've got to pose them, put them in a shelf and just don't let them have dust on them because they are amazing and they do not be deserved just to be put on a shelf and have dust smeared over them um, or your cat's fur on them um, but or your dog. I won't be... Uh, I won't be... Uh, Pettist. I'll be. I'll say it's pettist. Um, <clears throat> but there, there we go, guys. So um, let's have just have a final look at the overall articulation of this figure. Okay, so let's just have a look at the overall articulation for this figure. So for this, I'm going to just take him off the podium because that's what everyone would normally do. Take him off the podium, and then he can he can stand freely, which is really really good. So let's go from bottom to top, seeing as we've done top to bottom before. So evidently, these shoes, they have ball joints on them, so they can do a full range of uh, articulation. So you can sort of have him split his legs and sort of have him in an action pose where he's sort of, uh, well, his legs are sort of, or his feet are more on a pivot, um, which is pretty cool. And then they can just basically just go back to how they normally are. So moving up the figure... We've got his knees, and his knees, as far as I am concerned, they have a double joint, which if you've ever heard of, it's a double joint. Um, basically, it bends, as any normal person would do, but it bends even more, and he can do a big smashing football kick. So if you want, you can sort of have one... So you can sort of have him running if you want, I mean if that really does look like running, and then use this thing to sort of support him in that pose whilst having maybe a pistol out shooting someone. But he's got double joints there, and um, is there any... No, we'll move on to that in a little bit. Obviously this is a ball joint, so it can swivel around at anywhere it wants. So moving up the figure again, we come to his waist uh, area and his thigh. So his thighs go forward and slightly back. The clothes hinder it, but mostly forward. A little bit out, but not so much as to really do the full Monty. Uh, that's on both sides. The waist joint itself, if I just move the... Oh, gold. If I just move this up slightly... Actually, scratch that. Back in a okay. second. That's a little bit better. Let's carry on. So the waist, we have a sort of swivelly joint here, so it can sort of do that. Whether it does the 360, I'm not finding out, but... Uh, I'd guess it would, but then the clothes might get a little bit off-centred and all that sort of stuff. Uh, now, uh, it's got this sort of, what they call ab crunch, which is this. Basically, the the sort of uh, chest area to the um, stomach sort of has this crunch where it, the back and the side sort of does this sort of movement and you can do this back thing, which gives him some sort of bent over moves or bent back moves as if he's looking at something, which is pretty interesting. Just make sure to put his uh, shirt back down. It's, it's like dressing a child. Because um, <laughs> these things are amazing. Okay. Let's have a look at his arms. So obviously they go out as much as they can. Well, actually to 90 degree. Let's say 90 degree. Uh, maybe a little bit more. A push. 100 maybe. Um, the arm can probably do 360. But obviously because of the joint, the clothes, it's hindering it. It also has this sort of like joint here. Whatever you call that. Sort of shoulder joint where it goes in and out. 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 <laughs> Uh, the um, bicep part moves, you can sort it's double jointed as well, so you could sort of have him doing a Captain America salute if you really want him to, or putting a gun up to his head. It's entirely up to you. Or make his arm fall off, that's completely up to you. Um, the, 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 uh, the right arm on mine seems to be a little bit loose, so I might have to change the peg out at some point or other in the future. So let's stand him up. Actually, I'm going to just use the stand because it's annoying me that he keeps falling over. Best thing to do when you get to the top of the figure. Right, now let's move up slightly. So obviously that's on both sides of the figure and you can do that uh, no matter what. 
Then his head, you've got uh, obviously the articulation to do 360 if you really want to. The head also does a sort of neck joint thing where it can go up and down, up and down, up and down. Sort of left to right a little bit, but the the uh, ab crunch sort of helps to... <laughs> looks so funny, he looks like a penguin. Um, that sort of does that. But to be honest, that is the articulation, and I am really surprised that they've got that much articulation into this figure. It's a, an amazing figure, guys. You can't... don't get me wrong. And it, this has been a perfect figure to review overall. Um, you know, from the very start to the very finish, all the accessories, the price of it is nothing... You know, you look at it and you think, ooh, don't. Don't think that at all, not for any of them, because they are just extraordinary and they're so worth all the money that you you put into buying them and getting them to your house and all that and enjoying to have a look at what the accessories do, each individual thing and adapting your figure to what you like the most. And it's just an awesome figure and I'm really happy to have been able to review this for my 250th video. So guys, what can you do? Well, first things first, did you enjoy the cuts in between each clip? Please let me know. If there was too many, let me know, because I'm at the moment I'm thinking there was. Um, let me know. Do you think I could change anything? Do you want me to show different things? Let me know your own personal opinion. Do you want me to change anything? Blah, 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 blah. Let me know. Did you enjoy the video? Like the video? So I know that you enjoyed um, looking at this review of this figure, because I'd really like to know if you all enjoyed. <clears throat> Next thing, make sure to subscribe to the channel, because I would probably keep doing these. Um, let me know your feedback, I'll change things for the next one. Since this isn't the only one I have, I, at the moment, I have another two, so that makes a grand total of three Hot Toys. They are obsessive, I swear to God. I've made a list of oh, probably about 15 others that I probably want, and there's more coming out in the later years. Um, <clears throat> especially with all the Ave uh, Avenger Marvel films coming out, it's just, you know, so many. But, guys, for now, this has been Agent Phil Coulson. I hope you enjoyed. Just give me your feedback, because I want to know. Um, anything like that, you know, um, subscribe for more of these and other, uh, reviews, you know, the, uh, Doctor, uh, Doctor, yeah, Doctor Who, Transformers, The Walking Dead, there will be other reviews starting soon after they are finished, we obviously we've got Age of Extinction coming very, very soon, um, that competition, might be doing it, might not, not 100% sure at the moment, the toy line I thought was going to be a bit more exciting, not a lot of them, but we'll see how it goes, and, who knows, you might get a competition, you might not. You might have to wait until next year. Um, oh no, the sixth, the sixth, uh, the sixth year. Wow, six years next year. Um, wow, that's shocking. <laughs> but anyway, guys, wow, uh, what a review. So I hope you enjoyed, and yeah, I will see you in the next review. Thank you for your support throughout these five years up until 250 videos. You've been blowing this whole channel out of the park. I mean, it's just extraordinary to see the change since video 1 to video 249. Um, what, and 250, this one. Uh, it's amazing. And I can't wait to do more in the future. So, guys, thumbs up for you guys. There you go, thumbs up. And you can have a good old pointing to by uh, Phil Coulson to go and watch um, the... <laughs> The Avengers 2 and Captain America when it all comes out. Go and check it out because Phil Coulson's going to be going, aren't you, mate? Um, but there we go. So, hope you enjoyed. Thank you for all your support, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye. Okay, so the articulation for this figure, wow, there is quite a bit of it, and you've seen quite a lot of it already, so let's just take him off this podium thing, and actually have a look at what this, uh... <coughs> wow! The smallest, uh, the smallest of his, oh, no, 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 no.